Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Cruise missiles are one of the most lethal weapons of a submarine. They can travel at speed close to 900 km per hour over a range of 200 plus km. Indian Navy operates seven Sindhu Ghosh class or Kilo class diesel electric attack submarines. Their weapon systems are capable of firing torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. These Kilo class units have been progressively retrofitted to accommodate the submarine launched version of Club 3M54E cruise missile also known as Club S. Talking about 3M54E or Club S missile, it is a submarine launched anti-ship missile capable of penetrating ships sophisticated air defenses. It features a booster, a cruise low altitude subsonic sustainer and a supersonic terminal stage which activates at 60 km from target after the cruise stage drops. Its guided system is based on inertia navigation system and uses radar homing at terminal stage. The missile has a length of 8.2 meters with a 200 kg of warhead. It has a range of 220 kilometers. Club S is a sea skim missile with a supersonic terminal stage. At terminal stage, the missile has a flight altitude of just 4.6 meters and supersonic speed of 2.9 Mach. This capability enables Indian Navy to perform sea denial missions in a radius of 400 kilometers. India was the first customer of Club S missile even when it was not tested. Indian Navy has also ordered Club N its ship launched version for three Russian built Talwar class frigates. While the ship launched missile was inducted without problems, the Navy has been desperately trying to rectify the defects in the submarine launched variant over the years. The club missiles were successfully test fired in Baltic Sea in the year 2001 and 2002. But the problem surfaced when these missiles were test fired in Indian waters. Minutes before reaching its target, the missile wobbled before diving into the water. The issue seems to be with the terminal guidance radar of the missile or the seeker. The missile uses radar homing for terminal stage guidance which needs replacement or rectification. Identifying this problem, now DRDO has initiated a project for indigenization of Terminal Guidance Radar or TGR of the Club S missile. As per DRDO's analysis of defective club inventory, reveals that maximum defects pertain to the seeker. The repair of defective missile is an inescapable operational requirement as it pertains to ensuring combat worthiness of the primary offensive weapon of Sindhu Ghosh class submarines. The project for the indigenization of TGR or Terminal Guidance Radar is being pursued by a technology development fund of DRDO where a private or a public firm will be developing the seeker and DRDO will fund its development. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.